Hello everyone, thank you for joining us today. Uma Majid here, question 4 of 30. This is a suppository type question. Please make sure you've got something to write on, something to write with, and a GPC proof calculator. Have a crack at it, see how you get on, and we'll go through the working out together soon. Feel free to pause and time yourself for three minutes. Thanks guys, see you soon. Hi guys, welcome back. The answer for this question is 55.6 grams to one decimal place. So with this question, you have to use that equation. I have color-coded everything for you. I've even circled everything that you need. So let's get started. To answer this question, you have to put your final answer in grams to one decimal place. Now with this question, you have to make sure that the units match. So with the quantity of paracetamol, I mean the weight, sorry, is 125 milligrams. We need to change that to grams. We then also need to calculate a 15% overage. That is 15% more than the initial amount. So the initial amount is 25 suppositories. Each of them weighs two grams. So we need 15% on top of that. So step two calculates that. It gives you 57.5, but we can't have 27 and 28 and a half suppositories, we have to have 29. So that is why 29 is used. So I hope that clears that up for you. I've circled everything you need. Get the circled numbers, put them into the equation, nice and color coded. You get 55.6 grams to one decimal place. Hope that makes it a bit clearer. I'm going to show you another method again soon. Hi guys, back to show you another method. So with this one, what you have to do is you have to calculate the number of suppositories, which is 29, times that by two grams and you get 58. So 58 grams is how much base you need. We then need to use the total amount of paracetamol. So we know that each suppository contains 125 milligrams. We know we need 29 of them. So we times that together get the total amount of paracetamol in grams and then we use the displacement value which is 1.5 so this means that 1.5 grams of paracetamol will displace one gram of base we then calculate that for 3.625 grams which is what we need that'll give us 2.41666 we use our total quantity we use the displacement 58 minus 2.41666, that'll give us 55.6 grams to one decimal place. So you've seen two different methods. You'll know which one you like more, 